Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is the liberating power of forgiveness. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from our sponsors. The roof was completely gone. All of our memories being wiped away. The rain is what got 20 minutes of sheer terror. And you can feel it in your body. I watched the fire move down the canyon. The rumbling of the house. My son started screaming, we're going to die, we're going to die. In the name of Jesus, we are not going to die. At Samaritan's Purse, we bring spiritual and physical aid to hurting people around the world. We go into dangerous situations because in disaster, in disease, in war, Jesus calls us to love our neighbor, to heal the sick, feed the hungry, restore the broken. All who work and volunteer with Samaritan's Purse follow the example of Jesus. We go to serve, not to be served. And we go in Jesus' name. Join us at SamaritansPurse.org. That's SamaritansPurse.org. Our world can feel chaotic and uncertain, but we don't have to live enslaved to fear. Christ has promised me and you his peace, and throughout Scripture has provided powerful tools and practical steps to help us experience greater freedom. I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, inviting you to join me and my team as together we learn how to starve our fears and feed our faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com or wherever you access podcast content. The Liberating Power of Forgiveness by Clarence L. Haynes, Jr., read by Rochelle Alberti. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 4, 32. Forgiveness falls into the category of things we know we must do, yet it is something we often find difficult to do. I know because I struggled with it for many years. When people confronted me about it, I justified my reaction for choosing not to forgive. It's amazing the number of ways you will justify your actions when you choose not to do something you know you should. However, I miss that within the act of forgiveness, there was the power to transform my heart, heal my wounds, and break the chains of bitterness that had taken root in my life. Sadly, it took me over 20 years to experience that, and it was my choice. There is a truth about forgiveness that is unique when you exercise it. Forgiveness is not really about the other person. It is about you. I know we like to frame it as if we were doing the other person a favor, but in reality, you are helping yourself most when you forgive. In many instances, including my own, the one being damaged the most by not forgiving is you, not the person who hurt you. Knowing the benefits of forgiveness, you would think would increase the desire to forgive, yet we often find the opposite to be true. For many, one of the most difficult things they will have to do in life is forgive. Deciding to forgive is hard enough, but even if you forgive, then we can become like Peter, wondering how many times we should forgive the person who sins against us. We'll give you one, maybe even two or three, but after that, all bets are off. How do we approach forgiveness as followers of Christ? As followers of Christ, we are called to embrace forgiveness, both receiving it from God and extending it to others. The challenge is forgiveness may require you to look past the hurtful words, betrayal, and offenses which may have left lasting scars on your heart. It is the pain of the wound that tempts us to hold on to grudges and sometimes to look for ways to seek revenge that only applies to the most unholy people, not you or I. Yet, As great as the hurt is that you may have experienced, it is through forgiveness that you find true liberation and experience the transformative love of Christ. Jesus modeled forgiveness for us. When we look to the example of Jesus, we see a remarkable display of forgiveness. As he hung on the cross, 
suffering excruciating pain, he pleaded, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke twenty three thirty four. Jesus, in his infinite grace, offered forgiveness even to those who crucified him. Such is the depth of love and mercy we are called to emulate. Choosing to forgive does not diminish the pain you have experienced or justify the wrongdoing. Instead, it releases you from the burden of bitterness and resentment that comes with unforgiveness. When you forgive, you allow God's healing and restoration to take place within your heart. If that is not motivation enough, let me give you one more. God has forgiven you. When you grasp that, then you realize unforgiveness is an act of self-righteousness because you are saying that the person does not deserve forgiveness. Guess what? We don't either. Yet we receive it from God. That is why we should offer forgiveness without hesitation. God has forgiven the many sins we have committed against him. Surely we can forgive the sins our brother or sister has committed against us. Your liberation is in your forgiveness. In the process of forgiveness, you will find freedom. You will be set free from the chains of anger and hatred, and you open yourself to receive God's peace and joy. Forgiveness can also unlock the door to reconciliation, fostering renewed relationships and rebuilding trust. Honestly, there are some relationships that may be beyond repair, but there is no relationship That is beyond forgiveness. If you have been wounded by someone, then surrender your hurts and wounds to the Lord. Ask Him to give you the grace to forgive, remembering how much Christ has forgiven us. When that happens, get ready to experience the liberation that flows from a heart that forgives. The recent images our world has seen have been of bitterness, anger, and a desire for revenge. It's time we, as the followers of Christ, Show His love by extending forgiveness to others. When we do, we can become instruments of reconciliation and bring healing to broken people. Intersecting Faith and Life A Prayer for Help with Forgiveness Dear Lord, thank you for your incredible gift of forgiveness. Help me to embrace forgiveness as you have shown it to me. Release me from the chains of bitterness and resentment and fill my heart with your love and compassion. Teach me to extend forgiveness to others, even when it is difficult, as I remember how much you have forgiven me. Use me as an instrument of reconciliation and healing in this broken world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Further reading. Four steps to take when you need to forgive someone. You have no choice but to forgive. What does the Bible say about forgiving yourself? The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Once in a generation, a podcast comes along with the power and eloquence to inspire us all. This show will entertain you while you wait for that one. Join two best friends, author and former history teacher John Driver and comedian Johnny W. for hilarious and authentic conversations about life, history, culture, faith, and everything in between. You can listen to Talk About That wherever you find your podcasts or at lifeaudio.com.